What's up you guys, it's Ashling and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be featuring new products from Essence. I do these videos every couple of months whenever Essence releases like a ton of new products and I generally get them sent in PR and they're kind of like my favourite PR things to get. Catrice and Essence products, I just get very excited for them. So these are the new products that we have in here. I will obviously go through them all, they're a bit messy because I just like had a look at every single product and then put it back in here in no particular order. I'm going to try as many products as I possibly can on my face, just like highlighters, blush, lip products, there's a highlighting palette, eyeshadow palettes. There's a ton of different products in here. So if you guys are interested in seeing what's new from Essence and watching me apply them all to my face, then just keep on watching. So Essence haven't released any new foundations in a while, but they did release a new primer. So I won't be doing obviously my foundation on camera, but I will show you my priming product. This is called the Hydrate and Perfecting Primer. So from the Pure Leaflet, this says that it has an SPF of 20 and it protects against UV rays. It has a vitamin complex, moisturizes and nourishes the skin and it reduces the visibility of pores and refines the skin. It's four euro and 80 cent, which is a little bit higher, I suppose, for a primer from Essence, but it does claim to do an awful lot of things. So it comes in a dropper bottle. I'm just gonna drop that into the back of my hand and just apply that with my fingers. I love Essence Primer. Their Glow Primer, I can't remember the actual name of it, but you guys know that I absolutely adore that. So I'm excited to see what this one's like. Wow, this is intense. I have moisturized my skin as well. This has a bit of a scent. It just smells like a moisturizer. It smells really nice. It actually reminds me of Nivea, the fragrance from Nivea products, like Nivea face creams and stuff. So I'm gonna do my foundation, like I said, off camera. I won't obviously know anything about this primer until like maybe later on or after I put my foundation on. So obviously in my description below or I'll pin a comment, I'll let you know how this primer wore throughout the day. It's kind of gone a bit sticky now, a little bit tacky. So I think it's time to put my foundation on. Okay guys, so my base is done and I just did my cream contour routine. I'll link that down below if you guys wanna see how I got like my cream contour base. We have two palettes here from Essence. The first one here is the Crystal Power. This is a 750 eyeshadow palette, very, very cute. Kinda reminds me of when Kylie Jenner first released all her little palettes and the way she had like a little nine pan palette. I think that's really really cute. The other palette we call is Epic Sunset and that palette is 11.50. I am really drawn to this palette but all of the shadows are shimmer in it bar these two and that one. This palette only has one matte shade as well so we might have a bit of bother with them but sure we'll just we'll, we'll try our best. Okay so let's try this shade in here in the clouds and we're gonna apply that through the crease. Gonna keep it focused on the outer corner of my eye as well. I just popped some cosmetics tape on my eye because I just want to create like a crisp line out here. Make sure it's as crisp as possible. There's no harsh lines. I'm gonna go in with Pink Skies, which is this shade here. It has a slight sheen to it, and I'm gonna go above that shade there, the purple one, just to add a bit of color. It's been a long time since I've done a colorful eye look. Just make sure it's blended, that's all. Okay, next up I'm gonna go in with Twilight, which is this purple shade here. And I'm just gonna pop that, I suppose, beside the first purple that I put down. Kind of lost that initial purple. Possibly pointless putting that down. I'm gonna take this big shade here, Darkness of Light, and I'm gonna pop that on the extreme outer corner there, just to add a bit of depth. I have no idea what I'm doing, can you tell? <laughs> I'm gonna take a bit of Makeup Revolution's Cut Crease Canvas Concealer thing and I'm just gonna pop that into my eye in the inner corner. I'm gonna take this shade Succulent and I'm gonna pop that right beside those purple shades and pink shades. Ooh, this is really pretty. The Crystal Power shade has this beautiful color in it, which is called Reach for the Stars. And it's like that other shade, but it's just a bit chunkier. So I'm gonna pop a bit of that on top 
of that blue. Like it's just more of like a sparkly, chunkier shade. Just to add a bit of like glitter to the look. I think for the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the shade Ray of Light, which is down here. And I'm just gonna pop that in to the extreme inner portion of the eye. I'm gonna take Lightness of Day, which is this one here. And I'm just gonna pop that underneath my brow bone. And then I'm gonna take the shade here, Golden Spark, and I'm gonna pop that into the inner tear duct just to brighten it all up. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to mascara and Essence have brought out this new one called What The Fake. I like the look of the brush actually, that looks really nice. It's short bristles and it's a long wand. So hopefully it can get right into my roots. I must say I really like this mascara. It's not normal and I'm not shading Essence or Contrice, but it's not normal that I like either of their mascaras. I have like my select few from them and that's, they're the only ones that I ever like. Whereas Catrice have brought out a new mascara recently that I love and I really like this one. It's like giving a curl to my lashes and it's really easy to get down to the root and just coating all my lashes and lifting them up. I have non-existent lashes, so if you're looking at this going, wow, that's not great, like don't judge my lashes. It's lifting them and curling them and coating every lash and I really like it. So I think I'm gonna go back in with this purple shade here just to tie in the top and bottom eyes together. And I'm just gonna run that along my lower lash line. I put very extra lashes on as well. These are from Pennies. I can't exactly remember the style of them, but I'll name them down below. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that teal shade there and just apply that in the inner portion. I feel like this palette is very summery. I think it's definitely not a palette I would pick up for fall, but I actually really like the look of it on my eyes. I think it looks amazing. I'm just gonna pop the mascara on my lower lashes as well. This is a great little wand to get right up to the root of the lashes. So next I have blush that I wanna apply and this is The Blush. And the shade of this is Be Fitting. It's just a really nice rosy shade. I'm just gonna apply that to my cheeks, um, to the apples, I'm just gonna bring it up. Oh, that's a really pigmented blush as well. It's super pretty. So I have a few highlighting products. I have The Highlighter, which I'm gonna try that out. Just gonna apply that up there. Ooh, that's so pretty. I'm just gonna apply that to the tip of my nose probably a little bit too much and just over my lip. They also sent me out these Crystal Power. This is the blush and highlight palette which looks like this. So there is blushers in it, these two here and then two highlights. So I'm definitely gonna take that glowing energy shade because that just looks like it's right up my alley. It's the gold shade up top there. So I'm just gonna go over the highlight that I already applied. Why not? Loads of highlight today. And I'm just gonna swatch these blush shades here Oh, these are really pretty. So that's what they look like. So it's like a my maroony kind of shade and this like rosy shade. And then this is the other highlighter, which is called Shine Bright. Ooh, that has like a blue iridescent to it. I don't know how I feel about that. And that's the gold. So that's really pretty. You can see them there. The Shine Bright isn't very pink pigmented. It's more kind of like sparkly. So I won't be gone on that. But those other three shades are super nice. I really like them. Sorry, I forgot to mention about the price of the mascara. It is 440. And that eyeshadow palette that I use is 11.95. The highlighter is three or and 10 cent and the blush is three or and 10 cent as well. So they sent me out three little lip products. The first one here is a Crystal Power lipstick. This is a color changing lipstick. I love these lipsticks. Let's just try this. Ooh, it's really glittery. So I'm gonna just pop that on my lips. Oh, it's a really pretty pink shade. I used to love lipsticks like this when I was like a teenager. I just thought they were great, color changing lipstick. Now we've got these Perfect Shine lipsticks and this is in 05. I don't think it has a name, it does. Perfect Plan it's called. Ooh, this is really nice. It's like, a, I don't know what you would even call that. Hmm, I don't know. The quality of that lipstick is really good. I don't know if it goes with this eye look, but it's staying anyway. And then the other product they sent me out was the Wet Look Lip Gloss. And this is kind of like a clear, with like a blue sparkle in it. Oh, aye. Oh, that smells really nice. 
it's vanilla. Well, this has a plumping effect in it. I've never tried from Essence before. I tried one for Catrice and it was okay, not great. I think that's everything. Yes, I've used everything that they sent out to me. So thank you so much Essence for all those products. And like I said, the eyes definitely don't go with this lip look, but sure. For the purpose of this video, we're just gonna deal with it. I actually really liked everything that I got today. I think these new eyeshadow palettes are really, really good. I wish I kind of used this one a little bit more, but I just had like enough from this palette to kind of get me through. I really like this eye palette. I highly, uh, uh, highly recommend this one. If you're looking for some colorful eyeshadows, if you are like me and you're kind of more into like the autumn season now and you're not really looking for colorful eyeshadow palettes, then it might not be up your alley, but I actually really like the performance of the eyeshadow. So maybe just get it for like next summer or just like me, just wear it any time of the year. I really like this lipstick. I actually think that's one of my favorite products from today. Obviously not with this eye look. If I had like more neutral eyes, it might be a bit better, but it's a really, really pigmented lipstick. And I think there was like six shades in the range. So I definitely want to try out a few more of them. And then I also absolutely loved the mascara, which I was kind of pleasantly surprised with. The blush is beautiful and the highlighting products are gorgeous as well. But definitely the start of the show for me was the eyeshadow palette. I loved it. I hope you enjoyed today's little demo of all the new Essence products that are coming out. If you thought that this video deserved a thumbs up, then give it a thumbs up. And if you want, you can subscribe for more content. I upload like three, four times a week. I think that's all I want to say to you guys today. Have a fantastic day and I will talk to all of you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.